So, how's it going? I've, I've had a since we had our chat. I've, I've, I've been really busy beavering away. I've used that video, you know, because um, you know I was in the middle of my wandering around the block sort of thing, trying to get my thoughts straight. And uh, uh, this morning I woke up and just did another. It didn't take me that long. It took me a couple of hours, but 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 actually just bring bringing everything back to when I started blogging, which was in 2011. So that's a good time frame. Um, did you say you were leaning? Did you say you were leaning on our video from a couple of days ago or three days ago? Or yeah, I've used it a lot. Yeah. Um, so let me just get a screen share up and and. Um, uh, Give us a where are we? Share screen. Which one do I want to share? I want to share that one. There we are. And I'm going to just go. Oh, no. I feel quite similar to how I was feeling at the beginning of 2022 when the Ukraine war sort of broke out. Um, I get but, so conf I get so confused because I remember meeting you just before COVID, and so the beginning of 2022 that was met in Russell Square for a coffee in January 2020. Yeah, that but then some, uh, but yeah, so, okay, so 2022 at that point were you mid business? But then you were you were up and running, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so during the lockdowns just i did a hell of a lot of research and spoke to people on zoom and stuff and i came over to the uk a few times yeah um and then at the beginning of 2020 th then everything went kind of quiet again it was it was a really strange period they were talking about doing another lockdown um rishi sunak came back off his holiday if you remember and he claimed that he argued against a further lockdown. My view was that the, the you know the, the jig was up by then. There was no way they could have done another lockdown because the narrative had broken down so badly, um, and so okay. uh, people were kind of at that point were kind of really keen to get on. Like business people, I was talking to, they'd had enough of it. They were busy to crack on. When I came over in January 2020, London was really rocking. It was there was a really good vibe there. It was you know, um, I can remember I came over. I, I came over to look at a building in Charlotte Street, which had been an old restaurant, and I was going to turn 2020, it into one, yeah. one of our automated motel hotel type things. Okay, um, and on that trip, and a couple of subsequent trip trips the idea changed to actually building affordable housing from building automated um low low modular. service no hotels or whatever right so when module off module off became hermetics and the idea of a brand grew and you know we got some good indications um from uh private equity large private equity partners that that um uh they were keen on our model as it were um, and then at the end of 2022, um, things had slowed down, um, but when it was, was it February 2020? When did the special military operation or when, when did the Ukraine thing actually start? Um, two years ago, exactly two years ago. So it, it, it was February 2022, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because and everyone's been everyone's been anything, sending so, their their yeah. two year kind of like oh yeah, yeah. you know so, celebration. So I came back beginning of February twenty twenty two. Ukraine started. All went quiet again. Then by the summer of twenty twenty two, people had kind of got a bit of momentum up again. At the end of twenty two, going into twenty twenty three, the Kamikaze budget was in um, November twenty twenty two. If you remember. But by then, the interest rates had already killed the money supply. OK, and that, that's kind of what happened. And so 2023 became a complete write off. 
okay. Um, half of 2022 had kind of become a bit of a write-off, but the whole of 2023 essentially was a complete write-off. Um, now going into 2024, um, we're still feeling the effects of, 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 of these interest rates rising. Now, some of the things I've blogged about recently, um, going back to eight, the, the late 1890s, when um, half, silver was taken, silver was demonetized. In America, that's known as the crime of 1875. But at that same time, it was demonetized all over the world. OK, and it, it basically killed about a third to a half of the money supply. So there's a quote in the recent blog that I did uh, sort of talking about that being, you know, basically one of the greatest crimes, you know, ag against the people um, in, in history at that time. We're in the middle of another one, range, and that's, that's where we are, right? And, and so um, this theme of the, uh, the new trifecta of climate change um, land use policy and monetary policy, right? That trifecta wrapped up climate with CO2, CO2 emissions, ra car carbon rationing. That ties up with ID systems. And this idea of a techno-fascist feudalism is very real. That's a very, very strong theme in all of this. Um, AI is wrapped up in it. That there are lots of separate subjects and distractions, but what I've been trying to do the last two months is pull it all together over the horizon. I've been looking at this and I've looked at some of the stuff I've written in 2011, and it's really quite clear that um, uh, we're almost um, we're multitasking in terms of multi dimensions. Uh, we're Roger, I am. I'm about to. I'm about to. Uh, Roger. Two, Roger. Yeah. I'm. A, I'm about to end the call and call you on my phone so that I can go for the walk that I'm going on and come back. So hold that thought. I'll call you back in on Skype in one second. Okay. Cool.